For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thousands of migrants from Morocco and parts of sub-Saharan Africa who reached the Spanish enclave of Ceuta faced repression and were sent back on into detention. Between May 17th to 18th, approximately 8,000 migrants managed to swim the roughly 200-meter distance to Ceuta, located on the tip of North Africa bordering Morocco. The migrants were intercepted by Spanish security personnel patrolling the borders. Spanish security forces reportedly used excessive force metal batons, smoke bombs and tear gas against the migrants in Ceuta. Armored vehicles were seen patrolling the beach to prevent migrants from going any further. At least 6,600 were sent back by May 21st, according to the Spanish government. Around 6,000 of those who had arrived were Moroccan nationals, 2,000 of the migrants were children. The migrants were held in a local football stadium before being sent back. The children were taken to industrial buildings and warehouses run by charity groups. They are being held without their families. This is part of a compulsory 10-day COVID-19 related quarantine period. Some of the children also reported that Spanish security forces physically assaulted them with metal batons and used racist language against them. The towns of Melilla and Ceuta are the two main Spanish territories which have long served as the first stops for migrants and refugees trying to enter Europe. Local government sources stated that 86 migrants had crossed the border into Melilla on Tuesday. They also added that a larger group was blocked from entering by the Moroccan police on their side of the border. The number of people who managed to escape the security forces guarding the border areas was unclear. At least one migrant drowned in his attempt to swim across the Mediterranean Sea. On Thursday, the number of migrants trying to enter Spain decreased drastically due to reinforcing of the border by the Spanish authorities. The Moroccan police on their side of the border also set up barriers and prevented migrants from crossing. There have been reports that the migrants were used as a pawn in a diplomatic issue between Morocco and Spain. Recently, Brahim Ghali, leader of Western Sahara's Polisario Front, was admitted for medical treatment in Spain on humanitarian grounds. The Polisario Front has been in the forefront of resistance to Morocco's illegal occupation of Western Sahara. Morocco had expressed strong disapproval and anger at Spain's decision to permit Ghali to seek treatment. According to testimonies given by some of the children to international news agencies, Moroccan authorities actively encouraged people to cross the border from Monday following Spain's decision to admit Kali. Many of the migrant children were reportedly locked up in prison in Morocco before being set free to cross the border.